For all the talk about how much SUVs and crossovers have been stealing car buyers' hearts and minds, there's one segment that's still pretty popular, the mid-size sedan. They're still a great choice as an everyday family car when you need something that's a little more spacious than an entry-level compact. The Honda Accord has traditionally been just about the most well-rounded one of them that you could buy. Through thick and thin, every version of the Accord has always delighted us with its driver-focused utility and incredible practicality. And this 2017 Accord is no different. How does it look? The Honda Accord is sort of average looking among mid-size sedans. It's not gorgeous, but nor is it totally dull to look at. It helps that this touring model has lots of chrome trim, bigger wheels, and a little spoiler on the back. It's got a very traditional three-box sedan shape, which makes sense because that's what buyers want. But I wouldn't mind a bit more flair and drama to the sheet metal. How's the storage? The Accord's trunk is huge, and what's especially great about it is that the opening is really low and wide, so it's a cinch to get stuff in and out. I also love these releases for the second row seats. They make it really simple to expand the storage space. Storage in the center console is on the small side, though there's a handy bin up front for storing your phone or wallet or a bag of M&Ms. There's another hidden storage slot in the center stack too, but it's pretty tiny. Is it roomy? As with the trunk, roominess in the cabin is one of the Accord's biggest selling points. Leg and headroom are generous up front, and because the dashboard is quite low, it's easy to get a good commanding view out the front of the car. There's also an impressive amount of space in the back seats, so I can comfortably sit behind myself and I don't have to crane my neck or scrunch my legs up. How does the interior feel? Honda does a great job of making sure all the surfaces and switch gear in this car look and feel great. There's not a single part of the cabin that I touch and think, that seems cheap. Is it well equipped? Now, there's no poorly equipped Accord, but when you go up to the Accord Touring, you get everything. Heated rear seats, remote start, 19-inch wheels, LED headlights, pre-collision braking, rain-sensing wipers, and so on. Safety features include a backup camera, Honda's cool Lane Watch blind spot camera, lane departure warning, and automatic headlights. How's the infotainment system? All versions of the Accord, except the LX and Sport, come with this 7-inch display audio interface. The touch-sensitive volume control really annoys me, but it's great to have little shortcut buttons at the top of the screen to jump between the map and audio displays. I especially like that the navigation system is just Garmin software because it's sharp and easy to use. You get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, and the front USB port has 1.5 amp charging to juice up your gadgets more quickly. As in a lot of Hondas, there's a second screen at the top of the dashboard with redundant information. I guess the point is that you can always see, say, your music information up there, even if you're looking at something else on the main screen. Is it a good daily driver? Absolutely, that's one of the greatest things about the Accord, is it's just really nice. There's great forward visibility, everything is really smooth and easy to use, it's comfortable, it's quiet. I could happily drive this car every single day. Is it fun to drive? Usually this is the point where I have some sort of disclaimer about, well, it's fun for a family sedan, but this Accord actually is fun to drive. It's got the V6 engine, so you get 278 horsepower, which is a lot in a car like this. And because we've got the Touring model, you've also got slightly sharper steering, slightly bigger front brakes, and 19-inch wheels with slightly wider tires compared to other Accord models. It's actually pretty nice to drive. How's the fuel economy? That's the big downside of picking the V6 engine. A four-cylinder Accord can get up to 36 miles per gallon, but in this V6 Touring, you'll get 21 city and 33 highway. How much is it? Again, the V6 engine is pricey. It's only offered on the EXL and Touring trim levels, so this car rings in at just under $36,000. Four-cylinder records range from $23,000 to $31,000. Those are roughly the same price range as you'll pay for the car's main competition. What are the negatives? 
The Accord isn't the most stylish or exciting midsize sedan on sale today, and opting for the V6 engine of this tester doesn't make a lot of financial sense. You should just stick with the base four cylinder. Oh, and I guess I wish there was a 12 volt outlet or a USB port for back seat passengers. Who should buy it? Honestly, the Accord is perfect for anyone who wants an everyday car that does everything well. It's easy to live with, it's filled with technology, and it's really spacious. Now, some of its rivals might beat it on certain metrics, but there's no other car that does everything as well as the Accord does. If you like this Why Buy video, don't forget we've got a new one every Thursday. You can click here to see them all. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all our great video content every week. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter or at motorone.com, which you can get to by clicking here. And finally, don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what else you'd like to see in future Why Buy videos.